Welcome to the TR Hiacom YouTube channel, your two-way radio communication source. Hi, I'm Tim Davies, and when operating in a hazardous environment, safety is paramount. So today I'll be talking about a few simple checks you can conduct on your Motorola wireless radio to ensure that it is FM approved. There are three parts to check. First off, you have the radio. In this demonstration, I'll be using a GP338LS, but you'll find a majority of wireless radios have their FM certification labeled in a similar way. This can be found at the base or bottom of the radio where you'll find a black FM certification sticker with green writing that includes the rating details. The second check is the battery. Similar to the turbo batteries, there is a white label on the inside of the battery. If the writing is in green, the battery is FM approved. If it is black, then it is just a standard battery. Please be aware that for both the radio and the battery, if any of the FM labels or stickers are removed, the FM certification is voided and its FM status cannot be guaranteed. Finally, you have the accessory or the accessory cover and antenna. When using a radio in a hazardous environment, the accessory cover or an FM approved accessory must be securely fitted as well as the antenna. A check of your accessories model number with the manufacturer will be able to tell you if it meets FM standards, as accessories don't have a physical identifier to show if they are FM approved. A couple of things to be aware of. Your radio's FM approval can be voided for a variety of reasons. This includes liquid ingress, as well as the equipment being marked, painted or engraved in any way. We hope you found this information useful today. Be sure to leave us any questions or comments in the comments section below. You can also subscribe to our YouTube channel and our other social media networks using the description below. Thanks for watching.